Well, so too do Penn State fans return to Happy Valley. Over 100,000 watched the 25th ranked Nittany Lions open the season against Temple on a pleasant late summer afternoon. Penn State's defense enjoyed the surroundings, setting the tone by holding the Owls to a three and out. Short drop, throw far side, knocked away and incomplete, good covered by Zemitis. A motion toward us, Palmer now goes back the other way to join Johnson out of the eye. Up to the end, left side, up to the 15, first down to the 20. Ricky up there with some giddy up there, running behind Levi Brown. Upton who will lower his shoulder, take on a defensive back once he gets through the line and scrimmage. Two receivers near side, Robinson with the snap, quarterback draw, 15, Michael 20, 25, Michael Robinson to the 30-yard line and close to another Penn State first down. With no fewer than six players taken in the first two rounds of the NFL draft, Penn State had plenty of new faces in the lineup, especially on both the offensive and defensive lines. As both sides worked on opening day jitters, the Nittany Lions special teams came up with the first big play. Here they come, Wake, Wake blocked it. Wake goes after the block to the 30-yard line, picked up by Ringwelski, the punter, and he goes down to the 32. Derek Wake, the third block of his career. Derek Wake has that ability to get, get off the mark very quickly, got inside the blocker and got his right hand out and got a piece of his football. This guy has just got that kind of ability and that kind of quickness should have a very big year for that Penn State defense and special team. Again under center. Gives it to Fenton again. There's Derek Wake to take him down for a loss. Wake was all over the field and led Penn State in tackles for the half. But late in the first quarter, Temple threatened. The Nittany Lions grew stubborn in the red zone and forced a field goal try. Jared Davis missed wide right. There was a solution for the goose eggs, and it came from offensive coordinator Fran Ganner, now in his 33rd year at Penn State. Mills foot to the far side, two near side. Robinson quarterback dry, it's open. 30, 35, out to the 37-yard line. Mills in the shotgun, takes it. Zach back to pass, looks, throws. Palmer makes the catch at the 41. Joe Paterno had wondered about his team's ability to run behind an inexperienced offensive line, but fullback Sean McHugh churned out some yardage and helped set up the home run. Mills back to pass up play action, long and deep. Tony Johnson's offense. He's got it to 20 and a 15 and 5. Touchdown, Penn State. As the Nittany Lions at 56 yards and a score from Zach Mills to Tony Johnson. Well, Tony Johnson's coming this year. The idea, he's the go-to guy in the passing game. Zach Mills did a good job of number one, just laying the ball out there. Tony Johnson opened by about 10 yards down the sideline for the touchdown. While most of last year's defensive line, Jimmy Kennedy, Michael Haynes, and Anthony Adams now play on Sundays, John Bronson continued a strong Saturday tradition, leading an inexperienced but quick new group along the defensive front under the guidance of coordinator Tom Bradley, who has veterans at linebacker and in the secondary. Good snap, back goes McGann, wants to set up a screen and does, the Fenton makes the catch at the 20, but Wake and Howley are there to make the stop. Good snap to McGann on second and five, steps up, he throws it down, field, he's got a man at the 10 and overshoots Goodman incomplete. He released that, I think, before he wanted to because of the pressure up the middle. That pressure came from linebacker Derek Wake, and he applied it to running backs as well as quarterbacks. Penn State continued to shut down Temple. Zach Mills, who was honorable mention all Big Ten a year ago as a sophomore, hooked up with Kinte Palmer for one first down, but that was it. Temple would get one more chance before the half. Back goes Mills. Sets, pumps, wants to set a screen. He throws to McHugh and complete from Penn State's face with a fourth down. Good snap to McGann. Back to pass. He guns it near side. Cobb reaches out and snares it. And long count. Turns. Gives it to Fenton up the middle. Fenton breaks 330. 25 to the 20. Fenton tracked down by Harrell at the 17-yard line. This time, Jared Davis was right on, and Temple scored on the final play of the half. The Owls, with 18 new junior college transfers, had come to play. With the late afternoon sun warming things up at Beaver Stadium, the Nittany Lions hope to turn the heat up themselves on a Temple team that had played a strong first half. A Temple team that Penn State had beaten 22 straight times. Ed Johnson and the defense picked up right where they left off. 
McGann gives the defend. This trying to cut it up the left side. He stood straight up by Capone and ripped down at the Penn State 47-yard line. Good snap, takes it back to pass. Here comes Chisley, steps away from him, and down he goes. Good penetration, good quickness, and, and getting uh, pressure on the quarterback that time and bringing him down for a loss. John Bronson's sack was one of three piled up by Tom Bradley's defense, and it was one that Temple could not overcome, giving the Lions the ball for the first time in the second half. Mills back to pass. Throws over the middle for Tony Johnson. Intercepted. 35. 30. Breaking tackle. Near side. 25. 20. 15. To the 10 and out of bounds on the near side at the 10-yard line. That is the first turnover of the game, and now Temple is looking at the possibility of taking the lead. Lawrence Wade's interception could have been the turning point of the game, but Joe Paterno's defense would have none of that. Shotgun again. Second about a yard and a half. Washington. Coles takes it down for a loss at the four-yard line. A fabulous play by Terry Coles. Coles does a good job of hanging on. Does not take the fake. He hangs on until he gets help. Third down about three. At the Penn State four. Good snap. Lobs it far corner for eBay. What a great job of the Penn State defense after the interception, holding here the second down at about two situations, first poles, and now Zemitis on the outside on that fade pattern. Temple's chance to make it a one-point game faded when Jared Davis pushed the 26-yarder wide right. Penn State would make the miss sting as they started a ground attack that would end up with a three-pointer of their own as freshman tailback Austin Scott made his debut. Good snap to Robinson. Swinging left. Following McHugh and Davis. Cuts it up 40, 45, 50. Michael 45 and finally brought down the Temple 40-yard line. McHugh and Davis with big blocks and Michael Robinson finally getting some room to operate. And a good individual effort by Robinson. And a good collective effort by the young offensive line that was starting to gel. Run blocking for eight consecutive plays. Scott, the freshman from Allentown, Pennsylvania, would pick up 17 yards on three carries in the drive. And another freshman, Tony Hunt, helped the Lions bully their way into Robbie Gold territory. McKelvey will snap it. Gander puts it down. The kick by Robbie Gold is up, and the kick is gone. 37 yards from Robbie Gold, and Penn State increases his advantage to 10 to 3. Defensively, the Lions kept the lid shut tight. McCone Fenton had 95 rushing yards in the first half, but they smothered him in the second. Back to pass. He sets. He throws downfield. Overshoots Cobb incomplete. Was good coverage by Zemeiter. Second and seven of the Temple 48. Short side pitch. Austin Scott. Stacked up 50. 45. Scott 40. Cuts inside 35. Spun down the 30-yard line. Austin Scott ripping off an 18-yard run. I'll tell you, you cannot teach that quickness and the speed, the agility, and the misdirection that Austin Scott has. You can just see he's only a freshman, highly recruited. The Nittany Lion infantry continued to march. Fullback Sean McHugh, who normally earns his keep as a blocker, was one of six Penn State backs to carry the ball, and he made the most of his chances. The Lions were piling up yardage, and even though they would stall in the red zone, the right leg of Robbie Gold made sure they were piling up points. Put down by Chris Gander, the kick by Gold is up, and the kick is good. For the first time, Penn State was ahead by two scores. Andy Ryland and Ed Johnson were determined to protect that lead as Temple managed just one first down in the third quarter. And not much changed as that melted into the fourth. Back goes McGann, short drop, pump, steps up and down, he goes, LeVon Chisley wraps him up at the 40-yard line. But when you pump and bring the ball back, and all of a sudden you run out of time, Chisley from the back. Meanwhile, the Lions continued to stick with the ground game. Freshman Austin Scott would lead Penn State with 12 carries, and it was a rushing attack that would accumulate nearly 200 yards in the second half alone. Some of it in small chunks, others in large. Shotgun Mills, Robinson has replaced Austin Scott, wide receiver each way. They'll give it to Robinson, cuts it to the 25, 30, Robinson 25, 40, Michael 50, cuts it 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and down he goes at the 19-yard line, Michael Robinson. Robinson
Dolphins did it all against Temple. He rushed for a career-high 84 yards, this 53-yarder the longest of his career. He also threw two passes, caught a pass, returned kicks, and even registered a tackle. McHugh is now the lone setback. Let's see if they go with the big man here. 264 pounds. Lone setback. McHugh off the middle, rumbles into the end zone for a Penn State touchdown. And the Nittany Lions lead it 19 to 3 with 7.45 to go in the game. Well, I'll tell you, Sean McHugh brings that physical presence you need. He's going to play in the Big Ten and try to run the football in this conference. Tight end Casey Williams led the way with a pancake block that made it easy for the six foot six, 265 pound McHugh to score the fourth touchdown of his career. The Lions were really in control, and when they forced the Owls into a fourth and ten punting situation, the game appeared to be over. So Temple will kick it away down 20 to 3. And the fake handing it throws downfield for Kyle. He's got it in the 20 and hit by Michael Robinson. The fake punt set up Temple's only touchdown of the afternoon, a three-yard burst by McCone Fenton. But Penn State would go back to the ground game that had worked so well. Austin Scott finished with 69 yards and put the finishing touches on Joe Paterno's 337th win. Follows McHugh, first down 30, Scott to the 25, and down he goes to the 25. 152 left. 20 to 10, Nittany Lions, 40 yard attempt, Robbie Gold. Put down by Chris Gander, the kick by Robbie is on its way, and that kick is good. So the Nittany Lions start off on the right foot with a perfect blend of experience and youth.